everybody. Good afternoon. My name is Molly McCarroll and I am the Assistant Director of Outreach for our Gulf Coast Get to College Center and I'm happy to be here with y'all this afternoon to share a bit of information about a program um, specific to um, Mississippi called Complete to Compete. So I'm gonna kind of talk to you about what this program is, what it entails. Sorry for the train, <laughs> if you can hear that. Um, we'll try to ignore that a little bit. But Complete to Compete. What is this? What does this program do? Who is it for? So Complete to Compete is a statewide initiative with a mission to basically help adults in the state of Mississippi who maybe attended college previously, um, maybe you, they were unable to finish um, their degree, and you know adults who haven't obtained their degree. Um, this program exists to help them get that degree and finish school. So this program is an awesome opportunity if you are that adult status student, 21 years of age or, or over, who, who may have started school at some point, started college, but never got to get their degree. Brandy dropped the information for this website below. And so you can actually go to this site, kind of learn a bit more about what it is what it does and how you can apply, but I'm gonna talk a little bit about that too, but there are some great frequently asked questions on this site and great resources about what opportunities you have if you go through this program. So this program specifically, who's eligible? Um, it is any student who is 21 years old or over, um, and also as students who have obtained at least 12 hours of earned college credit. So you have, you had to have had at least a little bit of college credit there, so those 12 earned hours at a Mississippi institution. So that does mean that your credits previously do have to come from a school within the state of Mississippi. And that is also in order to receive um, the grant portion of this, which I'll also talk about later. Um, but yes, those are some of the criteria there. And also you have not earned a bachelor's degree. Okay, so there cannot be a bachelor's degree that has been earned already. And then you've been out of school for at least two years consecutively. So they do want you to be a student who attended previously and hasn't attended in the last two years. And also I want you to know this program, if you're a student who fits this criteria and you're looking to go back to school and you you know, have maybe hit some barriers. This program really allows you to kind of bypass some of those barriers. You get to work with the C2C coach. So if you are selected and if you're a part of this program, you get to work with a coach who really just helps you find the best fit for you program-wise and just um, complete to compete program-wise as well, but also program-wise as in your major within whatever college you attend. And complete to compete works with all eight public universities within the state, um, 15 community colleges, and the medical center too. So wherever you're looking to go, you have options here within the state. And so this is a really great program if you really are that student who's really looking to finish that degree, finish your education. So I want to point out to you a couple of ways that you can potentially apply for this program. So normally when you go to the site, if you're looking at the different criteria, you have a couple of different options. Um, one option is, this is the website that you can go to, c2cpathfinder.org slash c2c. So that program, or that website is c2cpathfinder.org slash c2c. So it basically will bring you to the page where you can click to apply, and it will bring you through a series of questions that will ask you, you know, have you attended college within the last two years? Have you received your bachelor's degree? So that they can kind of narrow down whether or not you qualify to even apply. So that's one way, and Brandy dropped that in the link as well below. But then also, you can go to the home page, and if you scroll down on the home page, you can actually see a section, a link that will say, see if you qualify. And so that's another way that will bring you basically to the same sort of formatted application. And so you have a couple of different options as to how you can apply. And through this application, it essentially is going to ask you questions like your college history and how you would like to finish your degree. So once you've submitted the application, if it kind of goes through those series of questions and you see that you are eligible to apply, 
you'll go through those questions about your college history and how you'd like to finish your degree. And then eventually you should get an email confirmation. And then normally within about 10 to 15 business days, you should hear from a coach from Complete to Compete to talk to you more about what this program can look like and how you can get started on finishing your degree. Now, the awesome thing about this program is that as well as just having that sort of coach to, to follow you along in this program and to kind of be able to bypass those barriers, there's also an option for a grant. And so I wanna talk a little bit more about that. So if you are you know, accepted into this program for Complete to Compete, and you are interested in receiving the grant that goes along with this, basically there are a couple of requirements. One, you would just let your coach know that that's something that you're interested in. And then also you would fill out the FAFSA, the free application for federal student aid, as well as your Mississippi financial aid application. Okay, so those three different things are needed in order for you to potentially um, be considered for that grant. Now this grant is a $1,000 grant that can be applied each semester that you're in school. Um, and so that's something important to note that it can be applied each semester. And on top of that, if you are eligible for financial aid, that might be something that you can receive as well. Um, so like I said, that's something that you can reach out to your coach about. Um, but just knowing that this grant, I wanna read something to you. This is on the website for Complete to Compete. This question that comes up on the frequently asked questions, if I have a financial aid hold at an institution, am I eligible for C2C? So C2C grants can actually be used to pay a past debt at a Mississippi public institution. To be considered for the C2C grant, please notify your coach. And so, and then it of course lists completing the financial aid, the FAFSA, and Mississippi financial aid. So that's a great opportunity there. If you are a student who maybe hasn't gone back to, be, back to school because of a financial aid hold, this grant could potentially help you pay that off as well. And so there are some different ways that that grant can be applied to your schooling. So if you are a student who meets this criteria and you're looking to go back to school in Mississippi, I really encourage you to look into this program and also, if you need help through the process filling out your FAFSA or your Mississippi Financial Aid, that is something that you can reach out to us about too. Um, you can always email us directly or give us a call to set up an appointment. You can find all of our information for our staff members on our website, gettocollege.org. We are happy to help you through that process if it's something that you need, especially if it's been maybe a few years since you have filled out the FAFSA for yourself. So. That is a little bit about this program. Um, also, just so you kind of know, this is something that can be received each semester and you just must continue your enrollment um, without a break in semesters because normally this can be renewable while you're in college as long as there's no break in the semesters that you're attending. So it is a renewable process, the grant is renewable, um, and so this is a wonderful opportunity for those students who maybe have experienced hardships in the past or certain barriers and you're just looking and hoping to get back into school. Now, let's say that you're a student who maybe meets the criteria of being uh, 21 years or older and maybe you do have those 12 hours of earned credit but you haven't received those credits from an institution in the state of Mississippi. What I want to point you to is another website and Brandy's gonna drop the link below but mywaymississippi.org. So although you may not meet the criteria for Complete to Compete, this website may give you some insight on different resources and opportunities that you have as that adult status student to potentially receive some help going into college um, or finding some different outlets like that to get back into school. So we don't want you to feel like you don't have any resources or people to reach out to. Um, this website, the mywayms.org, that will include some other opportunities that you might have um, to really get going and get on this process of getting back into school. So like I said, if there are any ways that we can help or if there are any questions that you have about this program, please feel free to comment on this video. Um, but also you can always reach out to us individually as well. We are more than happy to help, especially if you're trying to get back into school. We are here to help you in that process. So. 
Thank you so much for tuning in today. I hope that y'all have a great afternoon and this has been all about Complete to Compete. Thanks y'all.